Hello everyone and welcome back to Seeking Sunshine. Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing quite well myself. We are back with Dahlia, Coriander, Sage, Portia and Aspen. And uh, the gang have been kind of settling into their new house that they've uh, managed to return back to. Now, uh, Janine, formerly known as Janine, however, Portia over here, is resuming her writing. She's continuing on her writing career. Now, she did actually manage to get a proper career, however, as an intern, as an astronaut, because I feel like she really wants to discover what's out there. And I feel like she really, really, really wants to see if she can find her long lost love, you know, the pink skinned alien that, that was around the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to buy a rocket. There we go. And we're going to buy a rocket for her to use. So let's pop the rocket machine, I guess, here, I suppose. And then when it hits nighttime, she can go ahead and build that. And I think that would be super, super, just super, super nice for her and kind of a constructive project. I know she was doing one in the last uh, house, but uh, we're just going to keep going with this one. Aspen, on the other hand, over here is chatting away to um, beautiful Coriander here. And Coriander is the house servant, in case you guys didn't know. He was enslaved by Rosemary and Mike as a, a way of like uh, renewing that there always has to be one blood source in the family, and they didn't want Aspen to be it. So Mike was the formerly one, and now it is Aspen over. I'm sorry, now it is Coriander. And uh, Mike changed his name to S S Sage. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have this little. Uh, chap run upstairs and actually head to bed so if you want to pop inside to I think it's this room which room is your room my friend I think it could even be this room so let's have you sleep in here here we go. Aspen's creative faculties are progressing nicely. So let's go down and let's head down to Dahlia. Dahlia is not in a good mood at the moment she's a bit uncomfortable as uh, she's a little bit thirsty. Oh we're getting a call Hey, Portia, it's Vampette. Do you want to hang out tonight? Um, uh, not yet. It's not dark enough yet. I'm sorry, Vampette. But Dolly over here has noticed that uh, her ex-husband, Oak Springs, has, uh, you know, his connection to the world has weakened somewhat. He hasn't been around very much. So Oak's connection to this world is slowly withering. Soon his spirit will be released and no longer able to wander and haunt Sims. Dolly completed the benevolent... Uh, benevolent, benevolent benevolent otherworldly spirits to allow Oak to stick around for a little bit longer. So I think that's what she's going to do right now. She's going to head over and she's going to plead with the world to let her have her husband. She, she doesn't know if she wants him. Oh, you can't? That's okay. We can put you there. We can put you there. Perfect. Uh, I don't know. She doesn't know if she wants to... She doesn't know if she wants to remarry him or bring him back to life, but she doesn't want to see him go yet, you know? And look at that! She has, uh, something has happened there. That was so nice! So we're going to leave a sugar skull offering just because I feel like that's really, really cool. Look at that! That is... We have yet to see Rosemary do something like this, um, like, actually, like, chat away to her husband. Like, we've yet to see her, like, pay him any bit of things since she was living in that, in that single apartment, you know? Like, that's the kind of, uh, thing I think that Seeking Sunshine was missing. So I feel like she's definitely gonna, like, uh, just chat away to him and just kind of, just chat to him for a while. And I think this has kind of reminded her, hey, listen, there's someone out there that's still looking her. The answer of her call and send a day of the dead celebrator to roam the neighborhood. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so what we're going to have is we're going to have Dahlia come over here and she's going to go to the vampire and she's going to drink the plasma and she's going to drain his life spirit. Because that's his job. His job here is free bed and board, but he does unfortunately have to give up the life that he had, which includes being married to the lovely Penny. And I'm not too sure if Penny's been looking for him or not, but she's not going to find him. He, he actually does know quite a few different people that we'll be able to invite over to uh, get to know. Oh, he does not like Jay Huntington, the, Jay Huntington for some reason, the third. And uh, Dachi over here, he's a well-known acquaintance, but I don't know, Sage and Dachi, they haven't really talked as much anymore. So what I think we'll do is we'll invite Dachi to hang out because Sage is, well, he was working out up here. So we're going to uh, endurance run, push to the limits. I don't know why. Oh. Is he feeling a little bit uh, starstruck at the moment or something? He's uh, 
He seems to be uh, bubbles and stars. Maybe he's feeling a little bit ill. I'm not too sure. Hug someone. Oh, that's so cute. So what's he want to do? He wants to gain a vampire rank, which is perfect. We can definitely have him do that. And I think what he'll do after that is he'll actually step into the shower because he's uh, he's pretty he's pretty smelly over here. Porsche on the other hand is continuing writing, and then let's have a, let's have Dahlia over here. So she's gonna tell her friend. She doesn't want to do this. She is a guilty drinker, but unfortunately, that's just the uh, life she's chosen. She wants to uh, survive. She does not want to die, and immortality has its costs, unfortunately, and this is one of them. So her fun has, in fact, gone down, which is not good. So, unfortunately, ooh, Dahlia Sequoia is finally a grand master vampire. She's one of the most powerful vampires in the land, but the power doesn't stop there. So keep earning vampire experience. A grand master vampire continue learning new vampire powers without having to take any weaknesses. So she can actually go ahead and spend her vampire powers. There we go. And she doesn't have to take a single weakness, but I think we might. So the strains of life without end depress Dahlia from time to time. Sadness will emerge when it's least expected. Or we have Dahlia has drifted so far from me that she no longer relates to living. Non-vampires are less comfortable around her and it will take longer to build friendships. Or we have the immortal pleasures. Dahlia evolves away from the life of the living and becomes a true creature of the night. She can part with trappings of her human form by diminishing her need to have fun. She can focus on other pursuits. I think we will actually get one of those ones. Um, but I want to see what the other ones are for now. Uh, what is this one? Tamed Thirst. Oh, she can't have that one because she's in Stable Thirst. Beyond the Herd. As Dahlia evolves away from the life of the vampire, she can try to her to socialize. She mist form allows instantaneous and cloudy travel, which is kind of nice. I, I do like the mist form one. And then we have this one. Influence emotion. Dahlia can subtly direct the emotions of others, nudging them to this way and that as she sees fit. I don't know if she would... I think she would easily like this one or she would like the immortal pleasures. I don't think she would like the, the uh, super speed, however. But um, I think she would deepen emotions. Not for her... Oh, yeah. We don't have eternal sadness, though. So... I kind of want immortal pleasures, but I also kind of want her to be able to kind of person that can influence emotions because I think that would be kind of cool. I think influence emotions would be kind of nice. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do one of those. So we have to, we have to take two weaknesses now. So um, Dali will become nauseous and vomit from eating normal food. And uh, Dali's social life may take an unexpected different type of time due to uncontrollable hissing. Uh, Dali is very prone to when comes to slumber. She can only sleep and nap in a coffin. Or day phobia. Even if she's not in direct sunlight, she still knows the sunlight is there. I kind of want to get this one though. Can I get rid of this one? Can I take this one? So it's like definitely. There we go. And we have to take two weaknesses. I don't know. I think we could take one of those ones, and then we could take the eternal, the normal withered stomach. I think because she's not going to eat anyway. Normal stuff, and I think she has a vampiric charm. So yeah. Okay, so at least she can go out into the day and stuff like that. So that's kind of nice. So she's going to drink away. Uh, Daichi should be here. Here he is. There we go. So he's actually uh, just... He's not happy at all. Maybe it's because he hasn't seen Mike in quite a while. I'm not too sure about that. But I think Mike should definitely go down and greet this guy. So let's go ahead and let's... Uh, um, hmm. We could... Can we give him a foot massage? Is that a thing that we can do? we offer a foot massage because I, I would like to give him a foot massage I feel like um, Sage is trying to be really really nice and maybe just express admiration can we do woohoo in the sauna maybe that would be kind of nice maybe we can oh we can brighten his day and then I think we will do romance and then compare to long lost love you are his long lost love um, woohoo in the closet, woohoo in the chest, woohoo, uh, kiss cheek, then we'll, 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 let's see, because he wants to hug someone, so let's just see if we can hug someone, um, maybe friendly, uh, can we just embrace, maybe, embrace, I don't see embrace anywhere over here, um, embrace, 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 okay, we're just gonna do, um, kiss, because I think that would be nice. 
so he can come down there, that's fine. He's getting into the bath with his clothes on? Daichi, what are you doing? Like, what was even that? I don't understand why you even wanted to do that. Okay, well anyway, Sage is coming downstairs. Mike is, or sorry, Coriander is not in a good uh, position. Now, come on, if you saw this coming into you and you were in love with him, you would really, really look at the admiration that he he just stares at him with. Like, you need to chill, Daichi, so much. Sage is not going anywhere. He may have tried to flirt with someone, but I don't think he's going anywhere, really. I think he was just testing the waters and seeing if you were really his, his true love. So let's have him come over. There we go. Kiss him away. Ask him to brighten his day. There we go. So I think we'll recall mortal life. He's so tense. Let's give him a half full. Oh, there was an offer there. There literally was an offer. Uh, let's. Um, ah, oh, there we go. Um, ask risk a question. Let's kiss his cheek. And I want to romance. Let's have them woohoo then, I guess. So let's have them woohoo in the sauna. That'll be kind of nice. Okay, so over here then we have... I heard it's night night at the bar. D Dina. I don't think he's allowed to leave the premises, but thank you so much for the offer. Now, our beautiful Dahlia. You're actually uh, not having too much uh, fun over here, but I think what you're going to do is you're going to invite someone really special to hang out here, and that is going to be Vladilos Strahd. And I think you're going to invite him over because you're now a Grandmaster Vampire, and I think you want to confront him about things. How is uh, little Portia getting on with her book? She seems to be getting on quite nice, but she actually doesn't have very much fun. So I think what we'll do is we're going to have her play a game, maybe play Sims Forever, have a little bit of Inception going on, and then pure little Aspen is just in bed right now. Yes, I think that is the room that I picked for our Aspen. Uh, let's go ahead and um, uh, so let's just check. So we have uh, Dahlia's room, we have Porsche's room, we have uh, Sage's room, Aspen's room, and then we don't have a room for Coriander. So I think what we'll do is we'll have him get like a single bed and it'll be like a, just a camping bed. Actually, do you know what? No, I think, um, there we go. We'll have that bed just thrown in there right now. I feel like that's gonna be one of those bedrooms that, can we throw that one in? Can I even make it smaller? I can't, okay, that's fine. So that'll be Coriander's bed, because I think Dahlia in her, I don't know, her transformation has gotten a little bit nicer. You know, she's got a little bit more sympathetic towards her servants. Oh gosh, did he say no? Oh no, he did. They're going to woohoo. Okay, he'll be right over. Okay, so we have our two little boys here who are kind of having a nice relationship. And I kind of do want to give Daichi an updated look. Maybe even have him move in. That would be kind of nice. There we go. So you guys can have... Ooh, there's a little bit of steam happening in here. Uh, I think that's going to get a bit thicker. There we go. So uh, we can have them just uh, have some fun. Break out the candles. Oh, they're wooing for the first time? I didn't think it was their first time. Okay, so Dahlia, let's have you come over. I think Vladilis has to be here. Doesn't he? He has to be here somewhere. Didn't he say he was coming right over? Let's invite him again. If I take out a certain lot. Um, is he not here? I don't think he's here. Maybe he is on the way over then. Oh, there he is. Perfect. So we're going to have you go out and we're going to have you flatter. That's definitely what we're going to have you do out there. And then we're going to have you, my lovely Portia, come out here and we're going to have you build this. And the two boys can continue their, their fun anyway. So Dahlia, let's have you run out. I do want to keep you together. Just a little. <laughs> she goes so quick. Actually, do you know what we'll have uh, Portia do? We will have her go around. We'll have her harvest all. Then we'll have her water. And then she can harvest all. And then she can go ahead and continue building. 
Oh, look at him. He's like in the mood. Okay. He's a little bit stinky, however. So whisper sweet nothings. Let's have you do a sexy pose. And then we should have him invite him to stay the night. There we go. So let's see. Oh, he's not for it at all. He didn't like he didn't like the uh, the chat. So let's um let's show off our powers. Cause we're we're pretty powerful now. I think Dolly is not afraid of the oldest vampire. Come on, Dahlia, you can do this. I have faith in you. Can we challenge them? Oh, Vampiric Spar. I think we need to do this. A sleepover sounds great. Perfect. Wait a minute. They didn't do a Vampiric Spar. Why didn't they do it? Um, vampire. Friendly. Why didn't they have a vampiric spar? That's a bit weird. I want to... Hmm. Why is she not in a conversation with him right now? Why are we lying about our career? There we go. So can we... Ooh, let's rhapsize about those. Okay. More choices. Friendly. I want to see the um, gossip about ancient vampires. I think we'll do a little bit. Let's have you come over here. You're just chatting away while uh, the coriander servant is there. So let's have you kiss hands. Let's have you declare eternal love. And then I think what we'll do is we'll have you maybe even ask for a foot massage, and then you can hop into the the sh let's take a steamy shower just to keep you in that kind of mood. So why aren't you vampiric duel? There we go. That is getting into her first fight. <gasps> Ooh, this is actually like a proper fight. Look at her. It is going down between Dahlia and Vladimir. I think this is going to be such a good little fight. Okay, so let's go ahead, pop this down, and see what she does. Hopefully she. Oh God. Oh god, he is terrifying. Look at this guy. He is just terrifying. Absolutely terrifying when you see him up close. He's not fun to mess with. But then again, neither is Dahlia. She does not look in any way uh, like fun to deal with. So let's see where this goes. Oh no! Looks like Dahlia actually did not stand a chance against our ultimate vampire over here, which is not a good thing! Oh no! She's not having a good time at all! That is not the... that is not the kind of thing that we want. So maybe... Oh, oh gosh. Maybe as a result of this, maybe what he will do is Vladimir will actually go ahead and I think he will go ahead and take Portia as kind of punishment for doing that. So I think he will, because he can't take Aspen, because Aspen's a human. So I think he will actually go ahead and take Portia. So I think that's what we'll have him do. So we'll have Rosemary um, maybe scare him off. Why do we constantly do that? Okay. Alright, so let's get him asked to leave. Go away. There we go. Wow, that actually got him like quite a lot. So unfortunately, Porsche over here is going to become Vladimir's uh, proper student. So very sorry to you, Porsche, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to win you back over. Because I'd say he he, he could have taken uh, Sage and he could have taken Aspen, but 
he wants the power and the unbridled trust that he sees in a uh, Portia because Portia's powers are unique she does have the vampire creation she does have the occult master the bat form and she has a sloppy drinker so I think Vladimir thinks that he can like take advantage of that so in the next episode we will have him take Portia away and we will deal with what we have at the moment all right guys thank you so much for watching it's been a complete pleasure but uh, as always goodbye